Celebrities and Crypto What could go wrong? Some people say that celebrities and NFTs are a match made in hell, but somehow, star endorsements have found a new low. Luckily for you, Crypto Clipper, in this video, we'll be talking about what could go wrong between celebrities and crypto. When a quarterback breaks contain in football, he eludes the oncoming pass rush and escapes into the open field. Breaking contain creates chaos. It can prolong the life of a play that would otherwise be dead, forcing the defense to scramble. It's a concept we find useful when considering trends. Almost all major trends begin in a subculture. Gamers, rap fans, teen TikTokers, and so on. But the majority of what becomes popular within those groups never makes it to the rest of the world. When a trend manages to break out of its confines, however, it becomes everyone's problem. We realized we had probably just watched NFT's break contain as we watched the now viral Tonight Show clip of Paris Hilton and Jimmy Fallon uninterestedly cooing about their newly acquired board ape yacht club NFTs. It reminded me a little bit of myself because I wear striped shirts. Fallon said, meekly justifying the $216,000 computer-generated doodle of an anthropomorphized monkey. As Fallon held their two monkey cartoons next to each other, Hilton replied, They look like they could be friends. We thought to ourselves, of course, this is how it happens. For the past year, NFTs have been a source of vexation in some of the internet's more obnoxious corners and an extended conversation between two massively famous people on national television is exactly how that kind of thing enters the larger culture. It's why you get a text from a retired relative asking if they need to know about NFTs. Celebrity endorsements of products, brands, ideas, and haircuts have been around for a long time. But they've become even more common in recent years as celebrities have developed their own direct advertising channels on social media. A celebrity's fan base provides an easy responsive audience for people with something to sell. You don't even have to be famous. Cast members from C-list Netflix reality shows can be found modeling Fashion Nova leggings or promoting some new app to their seven-figure followings if you look up their Instagram profiles. Celebrities are the best way to get people talking about their product when it comes to products with regulatory red tape that makes advertising difficult, such as recreational cannabis. Reese Witherspoon, Gwyneth Paltrow, Steph Curry, and Eminem have all recently jumped aboard the Hollywood NFT hype train, joining Hilton and Fallon. Even in a culture that has grown accustomed to celebrity shills, the Tonight Show clip drew a large audience. The video was labeled deeply strange in a tweet with thousands of shares. It was deeply unsettling according to journalist Max Reed. The entire scene or perhaps the fact that the scene took place at all has a disturbing quality to it. NFTs may be the logical conclusion of celebrity endorsements in the United States. NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token, which is an unalterable digital receipt that lives on a decentralized public transaction ledger known as a blockchain. If no one has cornered you at a party to explain this to you yet, NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. NFTs are tokens that, in current practice, usually correspond to what can be loosely described as artworks. The bored apes are a pretty good indicator of the quality of aesthetic vision you can expect at the top of the market, if nothing else. And the very top of the market can be quite pricey. In March, the artist Beeple sold an NFT for $69 million. NFTs have sparked a ferocious backlash from both those concerned about the environmental impacts of blockchain technology. Buying NFTs requires cryptocurrency, which requires a tremendous amount of energy. And those who believe they're a straight-up scam, as one of our mentor colleagues Caitlin Tiffany recently wrote, they could be entirely fraudulent, or the market could be overwhelmingly fraudulent with a few legitimate transactions thrown in for good measure. Split that hair however you want. It's currently unclear whether the technology will have more useful applications in the future. For the time being, everything is speculative in several senses. Because of the ambiguity surrounding NFTs, Hilton and Fallon's light-hearted conversation about their six-figure apes deserves closer scrutiny even if it wasn't an endorsement in the strictest sense. The company's celebrity clients all initiated the transactions themselves, were invoiced for their own NFTs, and were not compensated for public mentions of the company. 
According to a representative for MoonPay, the cryptocurrency payments company that they name-dropped for facilitating their purchases. According to the spokesperson, MoonPay has only paid for one placement so far, a recent plug in a Post Malone music video. However, because NFTs aren't consumer goods, the traditional definition of a celebrity endorsement isn't adequate for determining who benefits. The Hollywood NFT ecosystem appears particularly incestuous, as Reed noted in his newsletter about The Tonight Show video. Hilton, for one, has invested in at least one NFT platform and has sold her own Planet Paris NFTs for over $1 million. In the last year, there has been a gold rush into cryptocurrency startups and because they are private companies, it's often unclear who has invested where or who's doing whom a favor. The recent flurry of celebrity NFT activity and its questionable motivations have been dubbed perverse deal making by Coindesk, a publication that covers the cryptocurrency industry. MoonPay has remained tight-lipped about its backers. Even if an NFT-owning celebrity has no financial stake in any of the crypto companies vying for market share, they clearly believe in the concept of NFTs. You're not purchasing ownership of the original artwork when you purchase one of these tokens. The images are publicly viewable and right-click downloadable by anyone on the internet and the original artist retain their rights to publish or reproduce the work. What NFT owners get is a new type of speculative asset and they'll need the general public's investment dollars to help them grow. Just as the pork futures commodity trader isn't primarily interested in receiving pig meat, the NFT trader isn't necessarily concerned with the usefulness or even symbolic value of an ape, wrote Ian Bogost, one of our mentor's colleagues. When Paris Hilton and Jimmy Fallon have a dead-eyed conversation on national television about how cool bored apes are, there's a good chance that they'll increase the value of their investment by attracting new money. NFT holders profit when NFTs break containment. What's more, guess what? We don't care if some guy loses his shirt because he thought Post Malone or whoever else had given him a sound blueprint for securing his financial future via some type of computer-generated monkey doodle that's especially likely to be stolen. Someone should be protecting that guy from himself, but we're not qualified to do so. In any case, it's horrifying. It's viscerally revolting to watch two millionaires promote a mechanism of passive wealth accumulation while unconvincingly pretending to care about art or community. Even Hilton and Fallon appear exhausted from going through the motions of revenue generation in such a vacuous manner. The simple life, the reality show that made Hilton famous, wasn't exactly brilliant art. Perhaps, the celebrity genre that Hilton helped create in the mid-2000s always ensured that celebrity endorsements would lead to wealth accumulation. Hilton, like her Kardashian heirs and a slew of other Instagram influencers before her, has never been particularly interesting on her own terms. Instead, it's luridly entertaining to watch people become wealthy. And what's most fascinating about this type of celebrity is how they use fame as a portal through which endless stacks of cash can be pulled. The most successful among them have evolved into traditional celebrities, the Jimmy Fallons of the world, but their enormous cultural influence has compelled other types of stars to adapt their behavior. Matt Damon portrays cryptocurrency investing as a holy crusade in a one-minute commercial for Crypto.com, the company after which the Staples Center was renamed. Web3, a hazy concept of a decentralized World Wide Web based on the blockchain, is painted as our unavoidable future in the video's YouTube description. The actor proclaims, fortune favors the brave, a proverb that dates back to the ancient Romans. Damon is a storyteller by trade, and his job entails selling ideas to the general public in many ways. Many people thought it was absurd and unsettling for a man with such deep pockets to put himself on an equal footing with the average viewer, as he does when referred to historical figures as mere mortals just like you and me before encouraging them to put their money into what his grandiose calls for courage imply is a risky investment. Unexpectedly, actor Ben McKenzie, best known for his lead role in TV's The O.C., is one of the leading critics of these celebrities. He described Kardashian's post as urging her 251 million Instagram followers to get involved in a highly volatile, speculative market that's a little different from gambling in the world's most fraudulent casino. In a column for Slate last year, Kardashian now has 284 million Instagram followers. 
Mackenzie has since written more for Slate, and he's currently working on a book about cryptocurrency with journalist Jacob Silverman. The thesis is summarized in the first column's title, Celebrity Crypto Shilling is a Mortal Disaster. Even if crypto and blockchain technology have great potential, executives, venture capitalists, and celebrities pushing them haven't earned your trust or your money, Mackenzie claims. Skeptics may wonder if celebrity marketing is effective in this field. According to experts, it does. Consider the impact of retired NFL quarterback Tom Brady announcing his switch to non-football teams, or that Kardashian's post might have been the financial promotion with the single largest audience reach in history, according to a prominent British regulator. Stars have always built wealth through asset acquisition, just like any other wealthy person. But quietly, celebrities who buy up rental properties or fast food franchises don't seek public acclaim for doing so or for extracting wealth from the labor of the working poor. Everyone from Justin Bieber to Shaq now wants to be regarded as a cultural visionary for betting six figures on the long-term value of a digital receipt for an ugly cartoon. And they want you to know that this is the new cool thing. And you can still get in on the ground floor. If Filton and Fallon and their celebrity friends are going to go out and pump and dump their way to more money, they should at least be more discreet about it. Instead, they sound as if they think this is ridiculous and that the rest of us are stupid enough to believe it. They are promoting cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens at a rate that was previously reserved for viral dance trends. Artists among them predict that our real world will soon resemble the fictional worlds they spent their lives imagining. After all, NFTs have been said to have the potential to change the very concept of art. The element of uncertainty is crucial. NFTs exist in a volatile market, which is also a hallmark of crypto investments. This video doesn't end with that. We'll be giving you three bonus topics. So, let's start. Is crypto a smart investment? The Crypto.com commercial encourages viewers to be brave. And if bravery means investing in assets with little to no transparency, then crypto investments fit the bill. Companies must generally disclose critical information about stocks and other financial products, such as who is in charge, financial results, and future forecasts under U.S. securities laws. If investors have been defrauded or lied to, they have legal recourse. None of these are relevant to crypto. Many crypto ventures have white papers that outline their goals. Bitcoin was designed for peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions, while Ethereum was created to host decentralized software. However, the coins linked to these blockchains cannot be used to transfer fractionalized ownership in a company, or they will become securities. After determining that initial coin offerings or ICOs were unregistered securities, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission acted in 2018. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, have become extremely popular among speculators, not just retail investors. Institutional investors such as hedge funds, pension funds, and endowments have flooded the crypto market in recent years. Banks and venture capitalists are also putting their money where their mouths are. The price of Bitcoin has nearly quadrupled to $43,118 since the beginning of March 2020, while the price of Ether has increased by a factor of 10. That has paid off a $1,000 investment in Bitcoin in March 2020 is now worth $5,000. In that time, a low-risk investment like the Fidelity 500 Index Fund which tracks the S&P 500, has only risen $1,577. What are the risks of crypto? Crypto is orders of magnitude riskier than anything in the stock market, said Eshwar Venugopal, a finance professor at the University of Central Florida, citing the lack of financial transparency and legal accountability that regulated securities provide. He compared investing in crypto to being an angel investor in a seed stage startup where your money could be lost. The risk is from a lack of information, misinformation, and speculation, he said of crypto investors. According to Venugopal, the most dangerous crypto products lack a white paper or have no real business purpose. Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coin, both meme coins, have risen to the 12th and 13th most valuable cryptos in terms of market capitalization, in no small part due to tweeting by another celebrity, Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Because the price of crypto assets is often unrelated to financial performance, a Musk tweet is significant. Crypto prices are primarily driven by two factors. According to a recent Yale and University of Rochester study, 
trading momentum and investor attention. To put it another way, hype. The study found that the prices of three cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ether, and Ripple, were unrelated to those of traditional asset classes like stocks, currencies, and commodities. How to add crypto to your portfolio? Is it appropriate for a responsible retail investor to invest in cryptocurrency? Despite the fact that network adoption and institutional investment may reduce investment risk, retail investors should exercise extreme caution. Even financial planners have difficulty advising clients on crypto investing and risk, but many recommend investing no more than 5% of one's portfolio in cryptocurrency. If planners and investors want to invest in the crypto market, Caitlin Cook, the head of community for OnRamp Invest, a software company that gives financial planners access to the crypto market, said they need to understand how volatile the market is and budget appropriately. Can you handle it if crypto goes down 30% in a day? Cook wonders. I'm a firm believer that no matter how bullish you are on the space, you should not be putting more into it than you can afford to lose if you go to zero. That's it for this video, Crypto Clipper. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!